Rohan is gonna appear for his board exams. He is extremely worried as his exams are just a month away. Many of you like Rohan must be worried about the final round of preparation before your board exams. As we know that this one month is extremely crucial for you, we have devised a strategy that will help you to give your best in this one month before your exams. We call this strategy I Whippin where I stands for important topics first. Now this is very important. Now for all of those who have already completed the syllabus, this is the time for your revision. Now while revising it is important that you focus more on the important topics or the important chapters which we have you have already got to know by practicing the previous year's question papers. Also by watching the videos that we have uploaded, we have already told you which topics are more important. So you should always focus more on the important topics while revising. Now, some of you might not have been able to complete this syllabus till now. Now, for all of those, it is very, very important that you prioritize the topics because you are just left with one month. Now, if you just keep running after completing the syllabus, then you will miss out on revision, which will definitely not be a good thing. So what you should do is just try to cover the more important topics. And in case you run short of time and you are not able to cover some less important topics, you can just skip them. But you should focus more on revising the already learned topics because that is more important. Next is W that is right to remember. Now, many of us feel that there are certain formulae in mathematics which are difficult to remember or there are certain reactions in chemistry which we tend to forget or some difficult names in biology which are again hard to remember. So how do we handle these difficult things just before exams? Now for that, I would say that you should always write and practice. In fact, the best way to do is you just keep a small notebook for yourself chapter wise note down all the important formulae of mathematics similarly all important chemical reactions of chemistry because this small notebook is going to be very handy the day before exam third is e that is exam for your crash course now many of you would have already watched the crash course videos that we are uploading on different subjects and classes now do not miss out those crash course videos because we are doing a quick recap of the entire syllabus in 60 minutes or 100 minutes so it's like a great savior at the last minute and you get to revise the entire syllabus within 60 minutes and 100 minutes so do watch all the crash course videos on exam for Next is A, that is avoid social media. Now this is very critical. Now that you know that this one month is very, very crucial for you, I'm sure that none of you would like to waste even a single minute. So this is the time when you should log out of your all the uh, social media networks, whether it is Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, until and unless you are using a social media for learning for example if you are using youtube for learning so you can use it only for learning but for all other purposes so close your account for now and use this time only for your studies next is p that is practice sample papers as i always say that practicing sample paper is the best way to revise your syllabus now when you write sample papers now make sure that you write one sample paper every day and when you write the sample paper you keep a time limit of three hours and write the sample paper exactly in the same way as you would write your examination answer sheet Make sure that once you have written the sample paper, you analyze the sample paper really well just to see that which are those topics where you are making more mistakes so that you can quickly go back to those topics and do a quick revision. So solving one sample paper every day will definitely help you to improve your speed with accuracy. And then the next one is O that is organize revision plan based on your exam date sheet yes this is important now one month before your exam you already know your exam date sheet right for example let's say that uh, in your date sheet you see that there is just one day before your physics exam so you just have one day to prepare physics and you know that it is you know definitely not possible to complete the entire syllabus in one day so what you can do is you can utilize this one month to do a thorough revision of physics so you prepare physics as if you are ready for your exams and also make a plan that what are the things which you are going to revise the day before exam 
Similarly, let's say that uh, for your maths exam, you have seven days gap, like you have seven days to prepare before your maths exam. So in that case, you know, you can spend less amount of time on maths because you already have seven days to, you know, do a revision of the entire syllabus. So organize your study plan in this one month based on your exam date sheet. And finally, the last one that is N, no panic, no stress, no comparison. This is very important. Now, in this one month, if we stay stressed or if we, you know, stay panicked, in that case, we will not be able to give our 100% to whatever we are studying. And in this one month, we are actually revising a lot of things. We are studying different subjects. We are studying for, uh, you know, long hours. So it is also important that we are able to give our 100% to it. So always think positive, always stay confident and never compare your preparation with someone else's. Now it might happen that your friend told you that, oh, you know, I completed the entire syllabus of maths, but maybe you are left with a few topics, but that shouldn't bother you because every individual has his or her own way of studying, has his or her own strategy to prepare for exams. So never compare your preparation with someone else's. So no stress, no panic, just stay positive and stay confident last but not the least it is very important that you take good care of your health in this one month when your exams are so near so eat well sleep well make sure that you have sound sleep for seven hours every day and i hope that this strategy of eye weapon will definitely help you to give your best a month before exam wish you guys all the very best thank you